Hood in shock tonight after what police are calling an apparent murder suicide at a home in Sabarita. News for Tucson's Eric Fink has been on scene all day. He joins us now live with the story. Eric, what have you learned tonight? You know, guys, this happened in a gated retirement community. Most of the neighbors here, they know each other and they know each other well. We spoke to several of them today who are just floored including one woman very emotional as she grieves the loss of two friends. I was up in Tucson and uh, I, my friend, friend told me, called me, and I couldn't believe she was telling me this. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Police say the call came in just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. Authorities went inside the corner house on Via Cerro, Colorado, in this Saurita neighborhood, to find two people dead inside. Neighbor Susan Magno tells us a husband and wife are involved. Every morning in the dark, we'd come and walk our dogs, and he was, he was everybody's friend. He was, uh, he was like the, my father in a way. I'd always go to him and tell him what, what my problems were. Oh my God. Another neighbor tells News 4 Tucson he's simply shocked because something like this just doesn't happen here. I, I should probably play the lottery today because it's, it's about the same odds. Couldn't be more shocking. Couldn't be more shocking. It doesn't happen here. Um, this is a gated community. It's a retirement community. We rarely have uh, homicides in Sayurita. Um, back in 2019 was the first one we had in 10 years. Um, so it is a very rare occurrence. This is a very safe neighborhood. Tonight, a grief-stricken Susan Magno will miss walking the dogs alongside her friend. So sad, so sad. I, I want to talk to him, I'm getting angry at him. You know, I don't want that to happen. But I came over here and uh, to say, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, goodbye. And while we don't know the circumstances surrounding the shooting today, we'll wait to learn more from detectives on that. Several neighbors told us the woman who lived here was in poor health for a number of years. We're live in Sawadita tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Thank you, Eric.